Well, yesterday we saw Matt Weeders, a great defensive play, throwing a runner out at second base. And so kids at home, you may have been watching and thought to yourself, how did he do that? This man did it 507 times in his career. So today in our demonstration, Rick, show us the proper footwork, because footwork is where it starts in throwing absolutely. runners out, You're correct? You're absolutely right, Amber. It's all about footwork and rhythm and timing. And really, you know, you can teach yourself how to throw very well, but you have to start off very slow and understand the mechanics of throwing. And what I do, I go to a baseball field in the wintertime. I draw these lines. This line right here you'll see on the floor is my direction right to second base on the inside of the bag. You'll see these lines. That front line in front of home plate is what I'm going to do with my first step, my first fret on my right foot. And this line that goes the first baseline, I'm going to use these lines to help myself really balance my, my footwork so that when I throw the ball to second base, I'm going to be on perfect balance and I can get a good quick exchange. So the way it would go is line yourself up with the directional to, to the inside of the bag at second base uh, with this line right here. You can make a, a, a line in the dirt with your bat to show yourself what you're going to do. Now your footwork really is to come in and make it. The most important step in throwing is the first one. Come in and turn your foot parallel with the front of home plate. The first step is the most important because now it's going to absolutely allow you to turn your hips and shoulders where you want to be to line up your shoulders with your direction to the inside of the bag at second base. The third part is to step but not open your foot because once you open your foot your hips and shoulders open up and that's going to pull your throw to the shortstop side of the bag. So you want to throw against that front foot by lining it up parallel with that first base line. Now, now hips and shoulders and everything is lined up. All you have to do is turn your shoulders, your arm goes back and you have to let the ball go. Step back, look at your footwork in the dirt and say, yeah, okay. It shows you right here that you step properly in this line and so you're going to be able to throw the ball easily to second base. It should stay on line if you stay on top. Now again, use these lines to show yourself exactly what you're doing back here. The step, if an uh, off-speed pitch, you want to step up, that's okay. Curve balls change up, so you have to come up and get the ball. But make sure that your first step is parallel with the front of home plate. Turn hips and shoulders and go ahead and take that throw, even if it's over the plate, and throw it in. Now, high-low, the, the way to do it is keep your head right over your hips at the same time. Never let your hips come out and slide ahead of you because it changes the angle at which you leave the ball to second base. You have to teeter right there looking down at the bag when you let it go. So don't let your hips come forward and don't stand up and, and with your head and get behind you because now you can't get your arm up enough and you're going to throw the ball short of the bag. So it's some Tricky little things right here, but if you spend a little time working at it very slow and take some time, and you'll, you'll learn the proper mechanics of throwing the ball to second base.